Once upon a time, there was a hat. Beneath that hat was a boy named Matt. At the bottom of Matt there sat a pair of boots and a shirt pressed flat. Imagine that. Matt in the cowboy hat had an enemy named Pat, a lawless cowboy all the way from Ballarat, whose sidekick was an evil rat. Imagine that. Now the problem with Pat is that he was a bit of a copycat. If upon Matt's head was a hard hat, evil Pat would even copy that. Imagine that. On this day, the two were having a spat when Pat the copycat called Matt a brat and stamped on his hard hat. Imagine that. So Matt told that wombat that he was a right little tw- to keep his smashed hard hat because he didn't want anything to do with Pat. Splat, went Matt, and Pat showed him the way to the doormat. Finally, Pat was the star of his own show. He could wear any hat he wanted to know, no one to call him a copycat. His only problem was that when it came to choosing a hat, he had no better fashion sense than his evil rat. Normally he would look to Matt, but without him he was all copy and no cat. Just plain Pat. Now that he was all alone, Pat realized that this world no longer felt like home. Without anyone there to share his throne, Pat was no one. He was unknown. So Pat put on Matt's thinking hat, and he sat, and he sat, and he sat. What could he do? He felt just like a wombat. And then the idea came to him, like a butterfly from a gnat. The solution to get his buddy back, all he had to do to get back on track was say, Imagine that. Once upon a time, there was a hat. Beneath that hat, there was a boy named Matt. As quick as a flash, Matt was back. What a callback. Matt, I've been as dense as a hard hat. We were enemies, and I regret that. Please, take my hat. I see what you're getting at. I was also a bit of a dingbat. Let's go on a new journey, stat. And no adventure would be complete without his trusty hat. Imagine that! <sighs> Imagine that. <laughs>